Welcome to Sibish Fashion. Here in this video, we are going to see uh, how a uh, text translation API works in Azure. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the code now. So here in this folder, I'm just uh, opening this folder in now. Uh, to do code. In the terminal, I'm going to create a new folder called app. I will open that folder. I'll run npm in it with parameter yes, which actually create a package.json file with default values. As I said, I'm going to create an OJS application with TypeScript. We need to give some build command and the dev dependencies as well so i'll just copy this information from here and i'll paste it here okay so uh, we definitely need a request dependencies because we are going to request uh, for information to the azure portal right so i'm going to create a uh, types request and types node and ts node as uh, i'm going to create a typescript application here so everything is set once everything is set what you have to do just run npm install which will actually create all of our uh, dependencies in node underscore modules folder it, this may take some time it, it totally depends on how uh, your network network speed is the package.json file has been created and node un underscore modules folder is being creating now let's just wait for a few minutes okay cool it has been created now the package hyphen log.json is the file which control holds of the versions of your dependencies so it should be mandatory that you should check in both of this file whenever you are moving your code to github so what you have to what it is pending now is we are going to create a new folder called src and we'll be creating a file inside index.tf uh, we as we are uh, calling an Azure uh, API from our application we may need to set all of our configs in a config file so I'm going to create a config.ts file so in the config file what we have to do is we have to set that config an option here okay i got it so export so here it is so i'll, I'll just explain all this information um, later so once that uh on, as of now our config section is uh it's been done actually so now uh, we need to create some code to make sure that everything works fine before that we need to cre we need to uh, create an Azure uh, text translation API so for that uh, just go to the portal.azure.com You, what you have to do is you just need to click, click on create a resource and search for text translator here we go uh, you have got it now once it loads uh, you can uh, read all this information and uh, click on the create button which will actually asking which will ask for uh, some details which you have to fill here I'm going to here uh, in my text translator api 
and, um, and uh, you need to select the subscription which you have and uh, click on the price and tire and select and you can either use the existing one or resource group or creating new uh, if you see mine i have already created some uh, resource group i'm going to use this as i said already i have already created a uh, an api for this so i'm going to cancel all of this information here and i will just directly use the keys which in from that resource so this is my translator api so i'll just click on it and i'll go overview here you can see uh, the endpoint information this is actually not uh, endpoint this is actually auth endpoint so you need to copy this and paste it in your config file and point right so uh, next thing is actually you need to get the keys information you need to copy this key and this one i have already done that here so now our config section has been done <laughs> now uh, if anything happens to your application it is better to uh, we should be able to debug and uh, find out exact issue right so for that we need to create a new folder dot vs code sorry to rename it vs code and in that folder we need to create a file called launch dot json okay in that file uh, we need to create some configuration so that i'm just going to copy all the configuration from here so uh, just copying it and pasting it here i will be explaining each of this information here so as we are uh, we are creating a node application type should be node and request should be should be launch as we need to set it to set this uh, application launch this application whenever it is running so this is the args parameter which is actually src slash index.ts since i am i'm just writing this application in typescript this is mandatory so let's save this and go to the index.ts let's type console.log before we do that Don't need to import it. Config dot API or then point. Let's see how it goes. If everything goes well, we should be able to see uh, this particular uh, auth and point information is in the console. Let's run F5. So we are getting value from the config file so our application is working fine and all we have to do is write some codes so again i will just go to my word document here this is a function which actually convert which actually translate our text to any other language so as you can see it is actually getting the request option from this function so we are going to create that function now there are uh, two uh, imports that we must use here one is query string which will actually convert a json object to a query string which uh, we'll be using that pretty much very soon and we need to, we also need to alias request from request this okay all set now now if 
let me explain this function for you this function is actually ac accepting the text and uh, from language and to language that we need to translate to and in the header options in the request options we are actually adding a header with the key ocp apim subscription key uh, this key we have already got from the azure portal right so once we get the key we are actually uh, calling a, a get request with the parameters this parameter is being converted to a query string by using this line and we are using translate endpoint so once it is done uh, will be uh, running will be writing all the body information to the log so let's call this function i'm going to convert this string to german language from english so i'll be using en hyphen us and d e t is for uh, german so now let's just run f5 in german uh, i am sibishvenu means ich bin sibishvenu so in germany uh, it it is been pronounced as ich not ich so ich is been pronounced as ich so ich bin sibishvenu so it's working fine so thanks a lot for watching uh, have a great day